I'm Patty Crowfit, and I'm the director of Arts on the Edge, and that's the 501c3 nonprofit that is the sole supporter of the Highland Mountain Correctional String Orchestra. It's extremely difficult. It can be emotional, it can be frustrating, and it can also be liberating, inspirational, spiritual. Um, you go through all the emotions. It basically enriches the lives of the prisoners while they're serving time, the ones who want to be involved. Uh, many of them, it's the first real success they've had, you know, maybe in their life or at least as an adult. They realize that in order to make this work, they had a very large responsibility, not just to themselves, but to everybody in that group. They had to practice, they had to be there on time. Basically, it just changed the atmosphere. Uh, you have mundane tasks that you do, everything is structured for you, everything is um, planned out entirely, and you just go throughout your day like a robot. There's music. They're, they're practicing in the evenings. They're practicing during the day. There's practice on the weekend. And I've had a lot of the correctional officers tell me that when the women are practicing, they're not getting in trouble. They also get a lot out of it. I think it's one of the more transformative things that occurs uh, for some of the prisoners here. They open up more. They, they form connections with the volunteers and the uh, the conductors, instructors that come in with other people in the arts community in town. Uh, so they get to see a whole different lifestyle than that, than what you would uh, consider a, a criminal lifestyle. There's that saying that a greater a person's sadness, the greater the capacity for joy, and I really feel that no group that I've ever taught experiences as much joy from music as the women of Highland. Many of the instruments are donated. We're funded by the ticket sales for the annual holiday concert. <laughs> It's extremely special. It's the one time a year when everybody gets to be the belle of the ball. They get to dress up and put on their makeup and do their hair and be these beautiful swans that they've been dying to be all year and get out of the canary yellow. There's just been some amazing people that have been willing to donate their time and come in here and, and uh, you know, pour some of themselves into this population. Anyone that's interested in helping the orchestra can find us on Facebook or they can go to our website, www.artsontheedge.org, and send me a message.